So you've been using the rowing machine. You got the form down, you've been doing your workouts, but your butt is really hurting, like a lot when you're using the machine. What do we do about it? What's up guys, Austin back with another rowing video. So today we're gonna talk about butt pain or this like, like aching butt ache that you feel when you're rowing for a significant amount of time. It's that aching pain that you get sort of right where you know, right before your butt cheeks, really, right where all the weight of your body is sitting when you're on the rowing machine. And this ache can be extremely annoying and very frustrating because you're trying to direct your efforts, you know, to your workout, but your butt is just aching so much that you just want to stand up and kind of like shake it out or something. So what can we do to help address this butt ache? Well, I'm going to start off by saying that it's going to be pretty much impossible to get rid of it completely, but we can negate it a little bit in a few ways. But first, let's take a few moments to just kind of understand what's going on. So when we're rowing, one of the primary muscle groups that are working during a proper rowing stroke is you've got your posterior end, your booty and your hamstrings working as your body swings forward and back throughout the rowing stroke, especially that initial, you know, after you drive the legs and you open up the hips to swing back, that is your hamstrings and booty working to swing your body back. And that hamstring muscle specifically is essentially inserting, like the tendons inserting right where you're sitting on your butt. And so a way I like to think about this is if you take like your bicep or your arm or something, and if you were putting pressure around where the bicep inserts, and you are working that bicep muscle, just like you'd be working your hamstrings during the rowing stroke, you know, we're putting this pressure as the muscle's working, and by doing that, it's going to eventually start to like ache and cramp up the muscle because our weight is almost like cutting off blood flow a little bit and making it very uncomfortable to perform that motion repetitively over time. But it's a great way to make your veins pop out, oh yeah. But anyways, because our weight is essentially sitting on this point where the hamstrings meet the booty, that muscle group will start to cramp up and ache as you row for a long period of time. So there's a few different things that we can do to address this. And the first thing I recommend doing, which you should hopefully already be doing before any rowing workout, is to warm up that back end. And my favorite exercise to do this with is with the leg swing. This is a great exercise to not only warm up the back side of your legs, your hamstrings, your glutes, but also help you warm up your hip flexors as well. Another muscle group that is commonly used during the rowing stroke. So then you're like, okay, Austin, I'm doing my warm ups, I'm doing my leg swings, but my butt still hurts when I row. Come on, what do I do to fix it? Well, there's a little technique that you can do while you're rowing, especially during maybe your active recovery portions of your rowing workout, where you can help relieve a little bit of pressure off of each cheek. And it's what I like to call the butt shimmy. Now what the butt shimmy involves is essentially on the recovery of your rowing stroke. As you come back up to take the next stroke, on your way back up, just doing a very light movement left to right, relieving just a little bit of pressure left, a little bit of pressure right on each cheek before taking your next stroke. I don't recommend trying to move your cheeks around on the drive portion of the rowing stroke because that's a recipe for falling off and landing on the rail, but on your recovery portion of the stroke, on your way back up, just doing a little side to side shake, you know, every few strokes or so can help sort of release the pressure, let a little more blood flow to the area and relieve the ache just a little bit. You might have to do that in the middle of your workout, but if you get a portion during intervals, for instance, of some active recovery rowing, that's a good time to really use that butt shimmy to relieve that ache in your butt cheeks. Another thing too is if you're doing interval training and the butt ache is really getting to you, there is no problem with just quickly unstrapping your feet and just standing up to shake it off just a little bit before hopping back on and getting ready for your next interval. Now a more sort of long-term fix to this is to get some sort of cushioning for your bootay that's not just your bootay. Something like a towel you can place directly underneath your butt right on the seat. You wanna make sure that it's not too big so that it doesn't get caught in the wheels or whatever rowing machine you're using, but even something like a towel folded up is what it's doing is because the seat is so hard, the amount of pressure on your butt is very high. When we get something soft and squishy put underneath our butt cheeks, that is helping to sort of 
ex- like reduce the specific area that our weight is being pressed onto and it kind of disperses it around the rest of your cheeks. And it can actually make a pretty big difference on your long duration rows. But if you do that, you want to make sure that you keep yourself heavy in the seat. You don't want that towel moving around too much and you don't want it falling off, getting in the tracks, etc. So make sure you really keep your weight low as you take your rowing strokes if you choose to have a towel underneath. They also sell specific rowing seat pads that you can get, for instance, like the gel pad from JL Racing. Things like that can also work, but even something as simple as a towel works great. One final thing that I highly recommend you do after your rowing workout is try to take some time with either a foam roller or a lacrosse ball to roll out that area, that that spot where your butt has been sitting the entire time. If you can take some time to massage and sort of loosen and release those muscles, it's gonna make it so that your butt's not aching all day long. So if you don't have a foam roller or a lacrosse ball, I definitely recommend you pick it up if the butt ache is seriously giving you some issues. But real talk though, when it comes to this butt ache that we experience when we row, to be honest, Over time, if you practice just getting used to sort of dealing with that butt ache, it definitely reduces over time. Like if you just build the mental fortitude to sort of row through the ache, over time your body gets a lot better with adapting. But guys, we don't want butt ache getting in the way of, you know, good rowing form and making you so frustrated that you just end up quitting your workout. So hopefully these techniques, these little tips can help you to reduce the butt ache and help you keep you rowing longer and keeping your focus on the main aspects of the rowing stroke that we want to be focusing on and not getting like overwhelmed by our aching bootay. Guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below, or if you've got any tips and tricks to share of how you relieve your butt ache when you're rowing. Thanks again for watching the video. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and guys, as always, I will see you in the next video.